Well, look at this, guys. This is the gas out of my little green LX178 tractor. And I'm using this. I don't think it's removing 100% of the water, but look at that. There and there. And that's not even after sitting for a while. Whoops. There and there. That's not even after sitting. So isn't that interesting? Now this looks pretty good. It, uh, that's the last gas I just hauled out of there with my little gas sucker. So bad, 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 bad on me, man. Yeah. I'm going to get the rest of that fuel out of there. This is how I'm doing it. I got the tractor pulled right up to the door. And I just did a beautiful job of mowing my lawn. I got two problems with the tractor right now. Uh, it looks great though. Eh? Uh, number one, I sharpened the blades. Number two, I uh, have a bad battery so I had to boost it to get it going, which is bad Uncle Bruce bad. And now I've just looked at the filter and it looks pretty scungy. And this is the water and gas that I took out of the line. So let's go have a look at that. Bad, 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 Uncle Bruce, bad. One moment, please. I know I'm walking around with a camera. Okay. So this is the gas I took out of the line. And it doesn't look any better. That gas looks fair. But that gas has water in it. And I'm just looking around for enough for anything to, to store it that's semi-clear right now. Whoops. There we go. Dropping stuff already. Good lord. Okay. So even when you think you're doing good, you could be screwing up. But that's definitely an uh, ethanol uh, water mix right there. Oh, my old tractor was just a sputtering and a jerking, and now we know why. So I'm going to go get the rest of that fuel out of there. I'll be right back. So we're running an experiment on Bruce's own machinery. So I got the gas out of the tank. And I'll just give you a quick uh, visual as to what it looks like. Looks good, eh? So watch this. Head down a little bit. So this is the gas that's in back in my tank, and I've been I've gone through three or four filters on this one. And that's the whole thing looks like that. It's great. So that's a good thing. I haven't managed to spill too much, eh? I don't mind spilling gas on my countertop. Because it uh, needs a good cleaning once in a while. But look at that, eh? Like, look at that one right there. It's starting to separate again from good to old. So I'm going to just leave that. I want to see how much, how this burns from here down. Like, you know, in my hot dog pit. That's, that's unbelievable. Now I want to just see how much I've got left in my tank of the tractor. And look at that, I just happen to have a John Deere filter. Just like this one. Oh, well, kind of the same. I'm going to put that on my little tractor as we speak. I might have to just trim the line a little bit because it's got chewed up just a small amount there. Right there. Don't have a lot of spare length, do we? We will. We'll get it. We'll get it. Oh, and then we'll show you the tank. I just used an old shirt. And she's clean as a whistle down there now. Well, you know, as clean as a 25-year-old tank can be. Wow, this has been crazy. And I'm actually tempted to use the different fuel that I put in there. Uh, well, I might just check, check what I've been buying. 
Thanks, guys. I hope this isn't what I'm buying. Okay, guys, there's my gas filter. I did siphon a little bit into the, into the, what do you call it, into the glass, or the clear filter. Let's just see if she fires now. Full choke. Okay, I'm doing a 14 volt charge, 3.2 amps on the on the little green track road there. Because really, it gets run for a half an hour and then put away for about eight years now. The battery in that tractor was made in 2008, so it is at this point 14 years old for a lawn and garden battery. That's a really really good thing. So now I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get the water off this last you know gasoline's expensive these days and just look at look at that eh look at the goo that came out of that tank and I've managed to get this much gas out of out of the spare containers so that's like a hundred dollars worth of gas right there and then we're gonna we're gonna get the other hundred dollars worth of gas out of here. I'm not doing this for money, you guys. I'm doing this to see how much I can get away with. Would you get a lawnmower fixed by this guy? Some would say, absolutely. And some guys would say, never. But there's a definite, a definite line on that fuel. As soon as I start sucking up orange, I'm not going to put it into my little pail here. That's good fuel. Just a hint. Okay, well, let that sit. Kind of reminds me of mix six, mix. Uh, Experiment. Now this may be just really really old gas that had ethanol and sucked up the water and, and this gas maybe didn't have ethanol. I have no idea you guys <laughs> But that was a very very interesting thing my tractor quit halfway through and I had to boost it too, so it's got a bad battery. I'm working on that and the gas right now Now I'm gonna just take my green filter this thing is supposed to filter uh, mud out of an oil sand. So let's just run this through here to see if it looks any better. Yes it does. I'll just put that in there like that. Does it look any better? Versus being filtered through just a ray. Like a ray. I'm still, I'm still a little skeptic on those green funnels, but it did remove quite a bit of this. So I think a rag works just as good as that green funnel. Now I'm going to take a good amount of this orange stuff and go see if it starts a fire. Or if it's mostly water. We can play. Thanks a lot. I'm not going to show you the fire because I'm not supposed to do this. <laughs> Alright, it burns clean, but not that volatile compared to fuel. You know how volatile gas is? I'm not going to show you. I put a gas on, I put this stuff on a rag and threw it into my uh, 
wiener pit, my hot dog pit, and it just went woof. It didn't go woof like gas does. Big difference. Believe me, I know. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. All right, Ken, this is just a quick little video for you and Hank. Uh, the yard's really looking good. I just, you can see uh, my little LX-178 is over there getting some battery service. But right now, uh, I just want to take you down to the garden, uh, you guys. And Kenny's potatoes still haven't flowered yet, but they are going great guns because of all the rain we've had. <clears throat> so we just need some flowers on there. Oh, they're coming, see? Corn, looking good. And the peas have been uh, nipped off by the sparrows this year. So that's our little oasis when there's a hot day or happy hour on Wednesdays with Steve-O and my buddy Gord. So thanks a lot.